Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own ways. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. We were gonna meet Lady Stephanie for the first time. I see them walking through the parking lot. And the minute I laid eyes on them, I said, perfect, just perfect. And you are, and here we are today. So, do we have a beautiful bride or what? Isn't she lovely? A very handsome groom. He was easy to raise. Did his homework. I'm happy with Eric. He's a very good kid. They had been dating four years or more, and everybody's wondering, when are they going to get married? When are they going to get married? Well, my mother, Helen, a.k.a. Grammy, looked Eric right in the eye and says, hey, I'm not getting any younger. When are you going to put a ring on it? In September for her birthday, he gave her a ring and we couldn't be happier. The first thing she did was went to Grammy's house and said, Grammy, I got something to show you. God, I, Eric, take you, Stephanie, to be my wife. In the name of God, I, Stephanie, take you, Eric, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. When two people love each other with devotion and freedom, they kindle the awareness of that holy light in each other as nothing else can do. The candle you light together symbolizes your marriage and your willingness to surrender to something greater than yourselves. May your future be made infinitely brighter by the light of God that you now share Now that Eric and Stephanie have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those that God has joined together, let no one put us under. Amen. You may now kiss as husband and wife for the first time. The biggest thing about Eric that I like, he puts a smile on my niece's face that I can never forget. And I'm really happy for that and happy for them.
just wanted to also say, Cliff, I got uh, a cow and two goats out in the parking lot for you. And Eric, uh, Stephanie said marrying Eric is worth more than that, so you can take the peacocks with you too, if you want to. I want everyone to raise their glasses and toast the beautiful couple. Congratulations, guys.